there we go. There we go, is that better? Is that better? Is that better? Today, 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 we have 60 facts all about the world's most boring sport, golf, to hopefully put you to sleep. Now you guys know, you guys know I like my golf. I've been playing it a fair bit recently. I've been really getting into it. It's been actually been about a week or two since I last played because the weather's been a bit shit in the UK. That being said, that being said, I thought I'd do a bit of a golf video for you guys. My hair is all over the place. I've just got out of the shower. Let's get into it. These are quick facts. Number one, originally people used wood for golf balls. I knew that one. People have been using wooden golf balls and wooden clubs since the tale was as old as time. Number two, golf holds the record for the world's most boring sport. I don't know how, I think it's worse out there. Number three, Tiger Woods made his first hole in one at eight years old. Quite impressive. Number four. Golfers are ranked through handicaps. The lower it is, the more skilled the player. Number five. Women's golf began on New Year's Day in 1811 in Musselburgh, Scotland. Big infographic here, Jesus, okay. Golf was the first sport played on the moon, but no one knows for sure who invented it. A golf ball is more likely to travel further during the summer rather than the winter. And although women's golf started in 1811, it had taken 400 years for women to be able to play golf, which says it was uh, invented then in, what, 1411? Jeez. You are more likely to be hit by a car than score a hole in one in golf. Fair enough. The Augusta National Golf Club is the most famous golf club in the world. A golf ball will have anywhere between 300 to 500 dimples on its surface. Over 125,000 golf balls are hit into the water at the 17th hole of the Sawgrasses Stadium course. Pardon me. On average, 300 million golf balls are lost in the United States per year. There's a lot of golf balls lost. The golf term caddy comes from the word cadet. A pro golfer once predicted his victory. Okay, no evidence. Golf balls used to be handmade. Well, yeah, before machinery. 1411 man it would take four miles of walking to reach all 18 holes of a regulated golf course that's, that's about right I walk, walk about four miles the most famous left-handed golfer is actually right-handed I'm assuming that's going to be Phil Mickelson though I'm not sure only 20% of all of the golfers in the world have achieved a handicap of less than 18. Does that put me in the top 20%? Because I think mine sat at 14 at the moment. Let me have a look. Yeah, 
Yeah, mine's 13.5. Not bad. The world's longest golf hole is almost 1,000 yards. Wicked. Cassandra, comma, hit two aces in one game. I'm assuming that means two all in ones in the same game. It's outrageous, that is. The Solheim Cup is the biggest competition in women's professional golf. golfer ever recorded to successfully shoot a hole in one was five years old. Fantastic. I wish you'd given names and things like that. Peru houses the highest golf course in the world. I'm going to type that in because I want to Google that. Peru golf course. Amazon golf course is $25 for nine holes. Beautiful. That's $100, by the way. $100 in Peru for a game of golf. Outrageous. Uh, oh, there's actually... Yeah, there's actually uh, information about all the facts that I've just read. So we'll go through one of them, uh, uh, a few of them. Yep, on average, the golf balls, on these golf balls, the average depth of each dimple is around 0.001 inches deep. So that's about a thousandth, so, yeah, a thousandth of an inch deep. These dimples on the surface affect the lift and drag forces of the ball. So the golf term caddy comes from the word cadet. For a game of golf, the player is accompanied by a companion called the caddy. The caddy carries a player's bag and clubs and provides insight and moral support. The word's roots from the French term le cadet, which translates into the cadet or the young boy. And it first appeared in the English language in 1610. Players eventually shortened it to caddy. Here we go. Uh, Phil Mickelson stands out as one of the 12 players in history to win three out of four major golf tournaments. However, this is not his only golf feat. Growing up, the American professional golfer learned how to play golf by mirroring his father, who, who was using a right-handed swing. As he grew up, he continued to play golf this way and became known for his left-handed swing. Phil Mickelson made the World Golf Hall of Fame in the year 2012. Fair play. In 1957, the golfer Doug Ford once entered a contest and attempted to predict his outcome as well as his score. Eerily enough, Ford described his win to a tee. Much to the surprise of many, Doug Ford was able to win the competition according to his precise predictions. I'm assuming he guessed his score on each hole and then did it. Not only had he won the contest, he also finished the game with the exact score he had predicted. 282. Is that for one round? Or for a four-day competition? Golf balls used to be handmade. The feathery type was one of the first purpose-built golf balls. These golf balls were made of leather, stitched into a spherical shape that contained feather stuffing from geese or chicken. The world's longest golf hole is the seventh hole of the Sano course at the Satsuki Golf Club in the country of Japan. The golf hole measures a length of 881 metres, which is roughly 964 yards. And it's located in Sano Tochigi, Japan, about two hours away from Tokyo. Cassandra Kama got the surprise of her life when she made the first hole in one in her career. Not once, but twice. Kama had been a rising senior at Oakland University at the time she made the two hole in ones. Another golfer that had accomplished this feat includes Bill Weed during his first round of the 1955 Insurance City Bank Open. Back in 1955, Bill Weed was still an amateur at the Weathersfield Country Club and aged at the 
68 yard hole, 5, 208 yard hole, 9. Another golfer to do this was the Japanese golfer Yasuka Miyazato. He's also the second player to make two holes in one in the same game during the 2006. During the 2006 PGA Tour that's now the Barracuda Championship. Fair play. So the TAC2 Golf Club in Peru stands as the highest golf course in the world. Found in the mountains of Morococha, Peru, the TAC2 Golf Club's lowest point is 14,300 feet above sea level. This golf course has ranked as the highest golf course in the world since 1993, so we need to look at that TAC2 Golf Course. Golfer Seve Ballesteros has won over 90 international competitions. The Spanish golfer was considered to be one of the world's greatest professional European players in the history of golf. He has over 90 international tournament victories under his belt, as well as five major championship victories. The golfer was also known for being incredibly entertaining, who helped popularise the sport in, of golf in Europe. Unfortunately, he passed away on the 7th of May 2011. Tiger Woods has earned over $100 million in prize money from golf. It's more than that. Way more than that. Uh, since the last decade, he now earns an estimated $115 million a year. I suppose that's from like the Nike sponsorships and everything as well. He won his first Masters back in 1997 at the age of 21. The year I was born. Uh, and he has over 81 PGA Tour victories. His current estimated net worth is 800 million. The average golf club can last 10 years. The average golf tee is made from or a variation of hardwood. Yep. We're back to the normal facts now. France once established a naked golf course. The golf course is one of is, is only one of its kind in the world where nudity is mandatory for those who wish to play on the course. It's so peculiar it once featured in an American coverage of the world's top ten golf course. The Legeni Nature's Golf Course can be found on the west coastline of France. Let's have a Google. Yeah, there. That's mad. Who plays golf? I suppose it'll be nice and cool. Celine Dion owns a golf course in Quebec. She is an avid golfer that many people might not know. To express her love for the sport, the famed singer bought the Le Mirage Golf Club in the late 90s. Dion and her celebrity companions have, been, uh, have since been playing together. Wicked. Richard Lewis is a 64-year-old amateur golfer who holds the record for playing over 600 rounds of golf within the calendar year. 600 rounds! That's at least twice a day, every day. After walking over 2,500 miles and hitting over 50,000 shots, Lewis was able to achieve this record in the late 2010s. Because of this outstanding record, the Guinness, world Book, of Rec Guinness Book of World Records listed him as the world's most avid golfer. Went roughly 22.8%, roughly, roughly 22.8% of golfers are female. It's 
It's a very specific statistic to say roughly. There, golf has always been a male-dominated sport. Even in modern-day golf, it can be observed that the sport appeals mainly to the male demographic. Uh, to win at golf, the player has to be the one to play the least amount of golf. Yeah, that makes sense. Golf had returned to the Olympic Games in 2016 uh, after a 112 year of high. After 112 years of hiatus. To those unaware, bringing back golf as an Olympic event was an extremely successful occasion that brought together all professionals and fans. A total of 120 players had participated in events which had an even, which had an even division of men and women. These players represented 41 countries. That's kind of cool. Here we go, some more facts. The first golf course to use all 18 holes was built on a sheep farm. Uh, Apart from wood, oh yeah, we know that one. Uh, the PGA, so the Professional Golfers Association in America, was established in 1916. In 2004, China passed a law that limits the construction of new golf courses in the country due to environmental concerns. On average, a golfer will have a 12,500 to one chance of making a hole in one. And before golf tees were invented, players used mounds of sand or dirt and placed the golf balls on top. Well, I hope you guys have enjoyed that. It's a nice quick video from me. I hope you guys have enjoyed and I will catch you later.